This is going to be a series where I try to beat Castle Crashers with a rock band drum kit. I've done it in the past with a Forza steering wheel and with a um, Guitar Hero guitar. I also have a DJ Hero turntable. I haven't tried that yet though. Um, I completely reset my character data in this game. So my money is low and my... And I do still technically have a bow because I got another character to like level three just seeing if this would even work and it does but I'm going to be using this character because he's just a basic character I'm not going to use the necromancer or anything because he's kind of OP with his starting sword. Um, I got the idea to do this originally from in the past I saw a post about someone beating Halo 3 Legendary with a Guitar Hero guitar, which I thought that I would try because I love that game. But uh, it turns out it's impossible because there is no left stick. You cannot move. If you can't move, you can't beat Halo. Um, which is a real shame because the triggers in the Guitar Hero guitar, uh, if you didn't know, are leaning it back and forth which means that shooting I have to shape the controller which I thought was hilarious and that would have been great but no that doesn't work sadly um maybe there's a way to get it to work I don't know let me know if there is but any game where I can move with the d-pad is possible this is one battle block theater is one I'm sure there's more just not off the top of my head um this is also 360 because the rock band controller uh, in the Xbox One, you can technically button map, and that's what my Forza steering wheel is. So I was wondering if maybe I could beat Halo with that. I'm not sure though, because I haven't actually tested it. I might have a problem with the right stick. But, regardless, I'd like to do videos like this where I do stupid challenges. And not just Rock Band Drum Kit and Turntable and whatnot. But, I'd like to also try one where I... For instance, try to beat Halo with a really stupid control scheme like inverse sticks and stuff and see how long it takes me to learn that control scheme or if I even can relearn a new control scheme that horribly different and if I can, how long it takes for me to go back to how I was originally. Um, and I'd like to do other things like maybe play Skyrim with only my left hand in the game or something. I don't know. Dumb stuff like that. If you have any suggestions, let me know. But, for now, this is my starting place. Um, I was also thinking about doing Battle Block Theater, but I opted for this. Also, this is my first video, so, I don't know. Maybe I'm doing a bad job making it. If I am, feel free to let me know. Just give me constructive criticism. Um, maybe I'm talking too much, maybe I'm not talking enough. I don't know. Um, I'm new here. If you're unfamiliar with the game, um, it's a 2D button masher made by Behemoth. And it's a game that I've grown up with. I love this game, hence why I have done the Guitar Hero controller and such. But um, if you're unfamiliar, you, the king gets the power gem stolen by the cultist, and you need to go get it back uh, in order to restore the piece. And you have to fight all your way there, and you need to get three pieces to cross an ocean, and then you need to go do all these things. Uh, it's, it's not complicated, but it's kind of hard to explain, because it's not, like, said. It's just a story you watch. There is no talking. I'm sure that you'll figure it out if you just watch the series. But this is exhausting and my arm is already tired and I'm only like a third of the way through this because I'm going to fight through the barbarian boss for this first episode because the first whole bit doesn't matter. Um, so this is definitely going to be a part series and it's probably going to be many parts. And if I ever fail a level, I'm not sure I'm going to want to try it again that day because my arm hurts really bad. So this might be a really long series, but we'll find out.
technically for this game you could probably beat it with just the d-pad and the y button which is kind of what i'm doing right now and i don't feel great about it but i got i gotta do something in order to win and normal attacks with x are really bad so i'm gonna mostly be sticking to y um, So, the drum on my far left is B, and that's how I shoot my bow, or use the boomerang, or drink potions. Speaking of which, let's switch over to potions, because that's the only one I'm going to be needing, for now at least. Um, and then I have Y, and then X, and then A. Y is heavy attack, X is regular attack, and A is jump. Um, on the middle part, there are the four standard ABXY buttons, but using those would be cheating, so I'm not. There's also a start and back button, but those aren't horribly interesting either. worried about this first boss which is going to be the battering ram because normally what I do is I jump and um, I just jump and mash Y and then I can never touch the ground and he can't hit me and it's great but in this case I don't think I can do that fast enough because of how difficult this setup is um, yeah probably not so I'm gonna have to improvise and same thing goes for the barbarian boss because normally you can beat it just by shielding all of his attacks but i can't do that so i'll have to figure something out and i'm not sure what that's gonna look like yet probably just dodging a lot but i'm not sure if i'm fast enough because the d-pad is not precise and it's not a comfortable control and this one's kind of creaky and kind of loud so sorry if that's annoying Also, if you guys are curious, I'm recording this on OBS Studio uh, with an Elgato capture device and a podcasting mic. And my whole setup is kind of dinky. Um, my camera is up on a set of boxes. My mic is attached to a folding chair, uh, and it's coming out underneath the drum kit. You can probably see it. That was easier than I thought it would be, by the way. Um, but no, I'm in a room that's not meant for what I'm doing here. And I'm sure that'll cause problems later down the line. But for now, it works. there's people out there that are beating like dark souls with banana peels and stuff and that's awesome but I'm not quite that intense um, hopefully I'm a little more down to earth than that and I'm doing a more reasonable challenge uh, also I suck at dark souls so that probably doesn't help but now I'm trying to do something that's fun but doesn't make me want to rip my hair out and Dark Souls would not be that so I'm not going to be doing that also I have no idea how to make a banana controller because I'm not that technical Yeah, I 
if you have any form of constructive criticism, let me know. Because I feel like I'm not talking enough, but maybe you don't want me to talk. I'm not sure. Just let me know. And maybe I need to do some audio mixing. Um, I'm not certain. So again, just let me know what your thoughts are. And also let me know any other challenge ideas that you want me to try. Maybe it's one I listed, maybe it's one I didn't. I don't know. Just bear in mind that not every game is possible with every controller if you want me to do that kind of challenge again. Like most first person games aren't going to be possible, especially on 360. Maybe on one, but I'm not sure if I'll actually be able to look around, so maybe not. So yeah, if you didn't know, you can block his spike attack and his punch. Um, you can't block the burp attack that it'll do later, and you can't block that slam. Both of those are completely unblockable. But normally you can block the punch and the spikes, so that makes it much easier. And I can't move. Oh no, okay. Um, but in this case, it is all just dodging. I like games when I ha have these little restrictions on them. Like Skyrim is great for it. There's so many things you can do with Skyrim. Um, I've had runs in that game where I only used uh, Restoration one hand and Mace in another, and I never used anything else. No bows, no two handed weapons, nothing. Just a Mace and Restoration. That was actually overpowered. I thought that was going to be hard, but. It's kind of ridiculous, actually, because you heal so much, but it makes you feel immortal, almost. died there. I didn't play that very well. Okay. But with that, that's kind of episode one. I mean, I'll go apply my level up, I suppose. But yeah, give me your feedback. Give me anything. Let me know what works and what doesn't. And I'll try to accommodate because I'm new here. But um, after I level up, that will be episode one. So thank you. Okay, there's no point in magic. Uh, what agility? No, I don't want to do agility. Agility's kind of broken. I'm just going to do strength. Alright, so thank you again. Criticism, video ideas, I don't know. Let me hear them. I'm new here. I'm trying my best. That's the first episode of Controller Linguistics. Thank you. <laughs>